Girls, 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 girls. I think girls wear more than boys. I just think it, they use it as where boys use violence. Maybe boys swear dif more in different situations. Maybe they swear a bit louder in public than girls do because it's not considered ladylike. I reckon that boys swear more because they reckon so hard. Girls swear equally as much as boys. Yeah, in a mixed group, girls will probably keep it to themselves more. Yes, we do swear. Everyone swears, even those people who think that they don't swear, everybody swears. Even if they just say it inside their head, you are swearing. Nowadays, I think girls are proving that they've actually got the right to swear. Everybody said that it was a lot less acceptable for women to swear on television, or in, indeed in real life. And the only time at which it was acceptable for women to swear, and that was only using the mildest of swear words, was when they were with other women, um, so other female colleagues, perhaps in a social situation. But it wasn't generally expected that women would swear. Swearing often causes offence, whether it comes from girls or boys. But why is it that words, one of which refers to the female, not the male genitals, are so much more unacceptable when spoken by women? Is it that women are not supposed to be aggressive? Would a boy have been sent to the psychiatrist for swearing? Can you think of a filthy, dirty, smutty word beginning with F? Not too hard, I should think, Linda. No. Come on, come on. Of course you can. I can't. Of course you can. I can. Anybody can. Well, what then? You tell me. You must be one of the last people on God's earth who doesn't know. Everybody knows a swear word beginning with F. Well, then what are you asking me for? Because I want to hear you say it. You dirty old bugger. <laughs> Women. Rabbit, 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 women tattle and titter, women prattle, women waffle and witter. Men talk. Men talk. Women into girl talk about women's trouble. Trivia and small talk, the yap and the babble. Men talk. Men talk. Women gossip, women giggle, women niggle, niggle, niggle. Men talk. Women yatter, women chatter, women chew the fat. Women spill the beans. Women ain't been taking the also good advice in them women's magazines. A man likes a good listener. Oh yeah, I like a woman who likes me enough not to nitpick, not to nag, and not to interrupt, because I call that treason. A woman with a good grace to be struck dumb by my sweet reason. Yeah, remember, a man likes a good listener. Yes, a real man likes a real good listener. Women yap, yap, yap. Verbal diarrhea is a female disease. Woman, she spread she rumours around she like Philadelphia cream cheese. Oh, bossy women gossip and gillish women giggle. Women natter, women nag. Women niggle, niggle, niggle. Men talk. Men think first, speak later. Men talk. I wrote the poem against, not against men or against women, but against sexist thinking, the kind of thing that makes you say, so-and-so is a proper old woman. Um, and I was quite clear about that. I was in certain schools and boys didn't realise that it was ironic or sarcastic. Then I met a girl who said, I believe that poem is just straight. And she said that um, all these different words for talking were all different kinds of ways of talking that she thought were available to women and she had chosen these insults and decided to make them very positive. Women are very good at the art of conversation. When the art of conversation is getting men to talk. Lovely wine isn't it? But I didn't invite you here to talk about my wine Peter. Security is what I want to talk about. Mm. I've recently switched my business from security one to security two. Mm. One just mm. weren't cutting the mustard. Mm. And the name of the game is protect your assets. I mean, what are we in business for if we're not protecting our assets? Mm -hmm. and tell now, him, tell him about the alarm systems. <laughs> he knows all about alarm systems, don't you? Darling? I know all about alarm systems, and statistically, we're better off with our security bots behind their consoles. Think about it. I've thought about it. Mm. We've all thought mm. about it. Some of us have thought about it for a long time. And some of us have thought about it for a short time. I think I'd like to think about it some more. I don't know about you, Pete. Maybe we can think about it together sometime.
in the sauna. Women who talk in public have been considered unnatural. A, a woman's preaching is like a dog walking on his hinder legs. It is not done well, but you are surprised to find it done at all. Irresponsible. A woman's place is in the home, looking after the family, not out working. Bossy. Says there's a chronic shortage of nurses. And despite also, this. and also. Girls, 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 girls. Women whose work exposes them to the media often find they have to suffer criticism that would not be levelled at a man in the same position. The biggest enemy of of women in business, whether it's the music business or the banking business, uh, is the press, actually. Um, the press, particularly the tabloid press, like to have to have a pigeonhole to put whoever they're talking about into. So if you're, um, if you're a woman and you're young and you've got blonde hair, then you're quite obviously stupid and a bimbo. And that's the category that you get put into. So nobody ever writes about me uh, in terms of being a broadcaster or, or what I do on the air. It's bubbly blonde DJ Jackie. You know, well, the last thing on this earth I am is bubbly, as anybody who works with me will tell you. I recently looked at the newspapers to see what sort of words were used to describe women who were involved in reform in our society. Um, I was particularly interested in this because there had been a number of articles about me uh, being critical of uh, the non-use of women presenters on the election night programme, and I thought this was a mistake, and I think a lot of other men and women felt that it was a mistake as well, because women were intimately involved in and interested in many of the major issues of the day, but they weren't there talking about them with the senior political figures. So I looked through the newspapers to see what sort of words were used about women who said these things. And they're words like blasting, attacking, uh, we're described as sirens, as harpies, as viragos, sour-faced, grim-faced, whinging. And I think these words are used because women who try and reform things are seen as dangerous. Football is not a game for girls. When men comment on women's sport, appearance is sometimes under closer scrutiny than athletic ability. What do you think? Well, it's predominantly white, isn't it? Judy, but she took about four hours to do that here. This Come on, boys. We've grown up too. And she really is a very sporty girl, this. And the British girls you'll see at the back. One set all between the young queen and the ageing empress. Young. 